let's put the post-trib rapture doctrine through a scriptural test. Let's see what the Holy Bible actually reveals. First of all, always remember and believe that Revelation chapter 20 verses 4 through 5 proves that the tribulation era martyrs will get resurrected at the first resurrection. And remember that God is not the author of confusion. The first resurrection means the first resurrection. Remember, God is not the author of confusion. But God did inspire John to write the words of Revelation chapter 11, verses 11 through 12. Let's examine Revelation 11, 11 through 12. Revelation 11, 11 references specifically two tribulation era martyrs, the two witnesses, getting resurrected at the first resurrection. That fact, in conjunction with 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-17, proves that the rapture will not be a pre-trib rapture. But furthermore, that fact, tribulation era martyrs getting resurrected in Revelation 11.11, is also what allows us to put the post-trib rapture doctrine through a scriptural test. Think about this. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-17 proves that the rapture will occur immediately after the resurrection. Consequently, we should, we should see the two witnesses getting raptured, caught up, immediately after they get resurrected in Revelation 11, 11 at the first resurrection. And guess what comes right after? Revelation 11.11 11. Revelation 11.12 If post-trib rapture doctrine is the truth, then we should see in Revelation 11.12 the two witnesses getting raptured. Let's examine Revelation 11.12 They ascended up to heaven. It's that simple. Revelation 11.11, 11, like 1 Thessalonians 4.16, references the first resurrection. And Revelation 11.12, like 1 Thessalonians 4.17, references the post-trib rapture. If you are fighting this, then that means that you have somehow placed yourself onto the satanic side of a spiritual war. Now is the time to freely embrace the fact that the Holy Bible repeatedly prophesies that the rapture will be a post-trib rapture. That is your responsibility and you have been warned.